What's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Breaking news involving the the Planetary K Index. We've seen in the last 24 hours a, a very strong geomagnetic storm that was not anticipated. In fact, this wasn't even in the forecast. A strong G3, a KP7. You can see it lasted for six hours. This tall vertical line you see here is proof of that geomagnetic storm, and they talk about it over here at spaceweather.com. In fact, it's their feature story over here. Surprise geomagnetic storm. Earth's magnetic field was supposed to be quiet on April 10th. Instead, a strong G3 class geomagnetic storm broke out. At the apex of the disturbance, auroras crossed the Canadian border into multiple northern tier U.S. states. Ron Reisman sends in this time-lapse video from Milton, New Hampshire, and you can watch that video over here at spaceweather.com. I've also got some amazing photos I want to share with you guys that were sent in from Hay River up in the Northwest Territory of Canada. Just beautiful photos, several photos sent in by Tanya from Hay River up in the Northwest Territory of Canada, and they were definitely influenced by this surprise geomagnetic storm that again was a KP7, a G3, one of the strongest we've seen in a long, long time. Looking at the endless spiral over here at the Space Weather Prediction Center, you can see there was nothing anticipated. This was a complete surprise. Looking at the Earth-facing side of the sun, there were no solar flares or CMEs. Here's another look at the Earth-facing side of the sun. There's no sunspots, no active regions. There's been no solar flares, at least nothing major Earth-directed. Looking at the Schumann Resonance, you can see there's been a little bit of activity in the last 72 hours, but overall in the last 36 hours, things have been fairly quiet. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano, a little bit of magma intrusion on most of the seismographs that, that monitor the supervolcano for earthquake activity, and you can see over here in the, the northwestern quadrant several vertical lines. They're small, small earthquakes at the supervolcano over here in the, again, northwestern quadrant of the supervolcano Caldera. You can see a couple of photos here sent in by Tanya from Hay River, Northwest Territories of Canada. These are photos from the incredible northern light outburst from the surprise geomagnetic storm. They go on to say what caused the storm. The prime suspect is what they're calling a Canyon of Fire CME, which interacted with Earth's magnetic field two days ago. Initially, the weak impact on April 8th had little effect, if any, on the shields but unrest has been following ever since. We could be seeing the effect of Earth's passage through the CME's extended wake, which contained unexpectedly strong magnetic fields. A minor solar wind stream is arriving during the early morning hours of April 10th may have helped influence the, the bright auroras that people saw, especially up in the, the high latitudes, but they were also seen down here in the northern United States. Here's a video slideshow I put together of the photos sent in by Tanya from Hay River, Northwestern Territories, Canada. She actually took these photos late on April the 9th. The Planetary K Index took the measurements on April the 10th. That was universal time, but she actually saw these late on April the 9th, and they were some of the best she said she had ever seen. And up in the, the Northwest Territory of Canada, they are no stranger to Northern Lights. In fact, they're fairly common up in that part of the world. She said these were the best she had ever seen. And I agree, these are some absolutely incredible photos. She said a lot of these appeared directly above her head where they live up in the Hay River, Northwest Territory area. And these are some stunning photos, once again, sent in by Tanya. And she shared photos in the past that were quite good. And these two are quite good. In fact, I would say they are exceptional. Once again, these were the, the side effect of a surprise, very strong. G3 KP7 geomagnetic storm that again was not expected. This came literally out of nowhere. Awesome photos, Tanya. Thanks for sharing. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.